Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be about autism facts and history. So I hope you enjoy this video. And let's get into it. So how does autism affect families? The term autism is used to describe all diagnostic profiles including Asperger syndrome and pathological demand avoidance. Without understanding autistic people and families are at Without understanding autistic people, families are at risk of being isolated and developing mental health problems. Autism is much more common than many people think. There are around 700,000 people on the autistic spectrum in the UK. That's more than one in every 100 people. If you include families, autism is a part of their daily life for 2.8 million people. Autism doesn't just affect children. Children grow up to be autistic adults. Only 16% of autistic adults receive employment support. Autism is a hidden disability. You can't tell if somebody is autistic. While autism is incurable, the right support at the right time can make an enormous difference to people's lives. 34% of children on the autistic spectrum say the, the worst thing about being at school is being picked on. 63% of children on the autism spectrum are not in the kind of school their parents believe would best support them. 17% of autistic children have been suspended from school. 48% of these have been suspended more than three or four times. 4% 4 4 have been ex expelled from school or from more than one school. 70% of autistic adults say they are not getting the help they need from social services. 70% of autistic adults have also told people that there is with less support they'd feel more isolated at least one in three autistic adults are exper experiencing severe mental health a history of autism studies it is more than 50 years since leo canna first described his classic autism syndrome since the results of his research and clinical work have led to the broadening concept of an understanding of the autistic spectrum canna syndrome 1943 Specific pattern of abnormal behaviour described by Leo Kanner, known as infantile autism. Kanner made no estimate of the possible numbers of people with this condition. The Trials of Impairments in Children with Learning Disabilities, 1979. Lorna Wing and Judith Gould examined the, pre the, pre the prevalence of autism as described by Leo Kanner among children to have special needs. They found a prevalence in those with an IQ under 70 of nearly 5 per 10,000 for this syndrome. However, as well as looking at children with canna autism, Wing and Gould identified larger groups of children, about 15 per 10,000, who had impairments of social interaction and social communication skills, which was referred to as the child of impairments, together with the repetitive behaviour of activities. All of these children did not fit into the full picture of early childhood autism, or known as typical autism. Asperger's syndrome. Studies described above identified autism in children, the majority who had learning disabilities and educational needs. Autism Spectrum, 2005. Survey by the Office of National Statistics on Mental Health in Children and Young People in Great Britain, a prevalence rate of 0.9% for autism or 90 in 10,000. Prevalence in adults. The Adult Psychiatry Morbidity Survey is a primary data source for monitoring trends in England's mental health. In 2007, it included the first measure of autism, and found that 1% of the population studied had been diagnosed with autism. The Department of Health funded a project to build on the APMS study and look more closely at the numbers of, of autistic adults that have not been included in the original study. This includes people in residential care. The study was led by Professor Tony Brugia of the University of Leicester in 2007. Recent studies from other countries the Autism and Developmental Disabilities Monitoring Network in the USA had looked at 8-year-old children in 14 states in 2008 and found a prevalence rate of autism within those states overall 1 in 88, with around 5 times as many boys as girls being diagnosed. And that was from the Autism and Developmental Disabilities Network site. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, please comment, please share. And thank you very much for watching this video. Bye!